where we have Fik oh no, that's not Fikri, it's uh, Ludek Gregus, the Czech Republic. There we have Fikri uh, Madagouyau. TKO cage fight is in the lightweight division. Fighting out of the blue corner, representing the Czech Republic, Ludek Gregu! Well, here's Ludek Gregu making his way, also known as Ludwa. He's 24 years of age. He's from the Czech Republic. 13 fights, 10 wins, 3 losses, 1 KO. Now he's from Spable. Gym, as I said, in Czech Republic, in uh, Prague. Now, people, Andre Hooknik, his coach, you can just see him there at the back as they're walking in. He used to be a fighter here on Infusion many years ago, returned on Infusion of Reality. He used to always walk to the ring with his B-light sunglasses on. That was his trademark. Uh, very good coach and a wealth of experience with him. Yeah, I can remember him. Great fighter. Uh, was he also a Muay Thai oriented fighter? Uh, not Muay Thai. No. Okay. But I thought so. A yeah. lot of hot kicks, strong body. Exactly, yes. Very much. Big heart. Just generally really tough. Really tough. Runs a very successful gym now. And this is one of his up and coming fighters. Sure. The crocodile or an alligator on his side with a sun hat on or a cowboy does does it kind of hat. Well, you had a fighters always, you know, especially in the past with a really good show. Without trash talking but just having an appearance before the fight. Yeah. I like that. Yes. Well there he is! Uh, Ludak Griggles! He is opponent in the red corner, representing Morocco. Fikri El Margiouli! Fikri Margiouli. He is representing Morocco from Victory Gym. He has a lot of support here. Seven fights, three wins, two losses, two draws, two KOs. So, not the best of records, but he's hungry for the win. Now, let's remind you, this is a stand-up match once again. We're back to the kickboxing rules. The crowd's roaring here for Vickery. And this is the match before our final match tonight, the MMA match of Igor Phillips versus Nabil Hariuli. But coming back to this match, Vickery making an impression with his fans here in Alkmaar, the Netherlands. Walking with confidence to the cage. Yeah, I would have that too. It's such a big, big audience, big support, support like he has. Like you mentioned, the record uh, is okay, but probably is a, a fighter who maybe is not a champion, but he will be the the audience audience champion. The people's champ, they call it, right? Yeah, definitely the people's favorite. A lot of support here to cheer him on. Fully focused, as we can see. I love that kind of look. Fully focused, somehow relaxed. Don't know what to expect. Oh, right. Fighting out of the blue corner, representing the Czech Republic. 24 years old, stands in at 178 centimeters, with a professional record of 13 fights. 10 victories, 3 defeats, 1 of his winning fights by way of knockout, ladies and gentlemen. Lutbar Ludek Gregus! His opponent in the red corner from Morocco, 23 years old, stands in at 174 centimeters tall with a professional record of seven fights, three victories, two defeats, two draws, two of his winning fights by way of a knockout. Your applause, ladies and gentlemen, is for 
division is scheduled three rounds of three minutes is sponsored by CBN oil the Netherlands and the referee is Mr. Redwan Amrar There we go, 70 kilograms. Fighters. Moving, warm up a little bit before the storm. There they go. Nice strong low kick. Whoa, really hard knee on the nose, it looked like. Really, followed by the high kick. Very out the blocks fast here. Whoa, oh, left hook on the chin. Left hook. I just want to tell you, they're both so aggressive. He's going to go for it now. He's going to open up. I wouldn't jump if I was, if I was uh, Gregor. Really, in the first 30 seconds. Oh, he... You know what, Margiru is letting him come back, yeah, somehow. Let him, let him have a breather. There he is, he comes back, yeah. A lost opportunity in my opinion, but <laughs> because he has some power, so we, we only have to wait. I guess the hearts are down, face of him down low below the chin. Strong one, two, good enter. There he goes. Really in trouble. I think he's in survival mode, Gregor. Yeah, you know what the Margiu is just letting the buy. Oh, there he goes. Wow, 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 Beautiful wow. Beautiful wow, right wow. hand. Well timed. You hear the accident, and as you can see, Margiu was also hit. The marks around his head. Now, so, if Gregor takes another eight count this round, it will be over three eight counts per round. I'm really wondering where this is gonna end. If he can't hold his arm and when Gregor can keep his base coming back in a second, they are so strong, both. both. So, as we know already, Margu is just waiting for his opportunities. I'm surprised he doesn't attack more rather than standing on the outside, Margu. Comes in with a long jab. Gregor's trying his best. Big right hand. And I always have the feeling, you know, that you had the chance to, to the, take the victory and then follow it up. Somehow people can come back and then you lose the game. I know, amazing. He's come back to those two shots. Yes, unbelievable. Hands, but you know what? The problem with Gregor's hands are down. Too low. Too Somehow low. it looks good on a full distance, but if you get, if you go to the half distance, and that's what what Aguirre wants. Then at least, oh, oh that's a good. That one hurt. Yeah, I think too. Yeah, he's hurt. He's hurt. See? And again, he could be in trouble here. You can see he didn't came back. You know, he was recovering. What a round, oh, yeah. what a round. The tide can always turn. I cannot believe how Greg has come back after two eight counts. He really took hard shots. Never seen somebody sit in a water tray <laughs> as this. Ah, taking a bath. I wouldn't think crossing your legs is the best for the blood circulation. No, I, yeah, exactly, that's what you say. Team continue, please. We're telling that. Here's some of the shots. There's a really nice landed left hook there. See it again, right hand. And he's connecting hard, by the way. But, like we said, whoa, a nice position shot. I thought Marigui was hurt also, or at least hit, hit it, but it wasn't. Yeah, it was a great right hand. But here we can see with the back kick from Gregor's that he, he was hit. Marigui yeah. was hit with a back kick. Unfortunately, we couldn't see it. 
what is going to bring the second round for us. Two fit fighters, to come back from when you're in trouble just shows your fitness. That's that's it, Julie. You can come back like, like Dragon did. They have a tremendous fitness. Yeah, it's too wet over there, yeah. I, okay. Yeah, take your time. Relax. Yeah. <laughs> Just a few seconds. For it's them. good for us when they are recovered well. Then, uh, oh! <laughs> Every attack, I'm gonna probably gonna say, oh! <laughs> oi. Oh, there's a point, pointing front kick. And a push kick is just something to hurt somebody. Yeah, a plexus or the liver. Stab it in. Beautiful one. Good left. I kick from Vegas. Oh! Oh! Okay. Julian, let's bat. First, first minute, second minute, third minute of this round. I, I've got no clue. They're back and forth, these two. I'm not going to put a name. Anything can happen. They've both got the power, they're both connecting. Uh, I hope for at least two counts, eight counts. Just for the excitement, just for the show. And they're willing to do it. They're putting in the entertainment, aren't they? Two minutes on the clock. I guess turn to Southport. Oh, almost a headbutt. Strong ballast for Margui. Again, showing their respect. Burgess Corners is shouting to him. Probably something about go forwards, go over forwards, connect, connect. Burgess is trying to put the pressure on him. Edging forward. Oi! Again, a nice landed cross, right cross from Maragil. The left hook is the angles off. Good short left hook indeed. Waiting, recovering, and ready to explode from both sides. Regus changing stance. Hard kick back, nice knee. Oh, that one connected. That's Good the right problem hand. with the fans. That's the problem with the fans. They're out of balance. Took a few shots there, made it go on the back foot. Oh. Regus landed the shots now. Looks like he's giving up. No, I think the Manikui guy is just a type of guy, all or nothing. Taking the Manikui, has come for you, takes a deep breath. Gumshield drops out. He needs to dig deep. And even though he looked tired, he's, oh, he's back still fifth. dangerous. <sighs> yeah, Greg is know what to do. Going forward, put pressure. Going for the knockout. The knee to the face. Just drops to the canvas there. Well, one thing is for sure, Julie. Margiu, that Margiui, lacks stamina. Too bad for him because he's really strong. Super strong, he's got to dig deep now. He has some serious qualities, but without any conditioning, muscle conditioning, stamina, then you can keep it up just too short. He's, look, he's looking tired off camera, but we're looking at the highlights here. You can see Gregor throwing that spinning back fist and really looking for the knee to deliver to the face, and it did on that right side. That was a heavy shot, followed by the left hook. Again, it shows the condition of these fighters taking, absorbing these shots. Well, if we can look back to the first round, first round, two downs, knockdowns, scored yeah. by Marigil. So like you said, Julie, maybe this is his problem. The blood circulation cannot do his work. It's not good to sit like that. He's getting... It's over. Why? He's not coming out. He's not coming out for the third round. The end of this fight. Oh. Okay. Okay. 
Okay. I'm not sure why. Is he injured? Well, it's something I'm going to try and find out when I'm up there. Ah, uh, you know, I was fun as you do. Maybe we can't say it, but I think he's lacking a little bit of warrior spirit. Maybe if something happens, of course. I wouldn't say that he do it by purpose, but... Give your hand. Give your hand. Okay, go. Yeah, not to talk bad about Margui, but you know, uh, whatever happens. Oh, okay. He's taking his audience. Uh, yeah. I have an opinion. So to you guys. <laughs> Come on. No credits to Gregus. We covered well. A really big hit. And we covered well and came back strong. That's an ability too. Of course it is. You're a panic, you're a problem. You're gonna get stressed more and more because you know you are behind. You're behind in points, you're behind. And then you come back like this, that's, uh, that's also a really good, strong, tremendous quality. Seems like they are still has things somehow. Of course, you gotta look back to the fight. It, at least it was a really great fight, spectacular. Great attacks, great hits, great knockdowns. Well, first of all, people in Alkmaar, a big applause for these two fighters, Ludek, Gregus, and Fikri L. Margui. When the winner of this fight is the man in the blue corner, Ludek Gregus. Never give up spirit. Never give up spirit from Gregus. Ludwar. Ludek and Ludwar Gregus. Congratulations with your win. It was a hard fight for you. In the first round, you took two eight counts from Fickery. He came forward, he was showing his skill and power. How did you get over that and come back? V prvním kole jsem dostal dvakrát knockdown, ale naopak místo toho, aby mě to jako položilo, tak mě to, tak mě to probralo a dostal jsem se do zápasu. Yes, uh, I want to thank for the fight. It was very tough fight. It wasn't a good start for him, but in Spable Gym, we, we don't give up nothing. And uh, Ludek is our new member, so he do fights like this normally. So we hope that we will see in Infusion or A-Take or, or more. Well, we've really seen his fighting spirit this evening, having two knockdowns, being in trouble and coming back so strong. Congratulations, and I'm sure we'll see you again in the future. Enjoy your win this evening. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Thank you, us. I think we can finally go to the uh, main event of tonight. Nabil 